Look what God has given us. We started off with one field, now we got 10. See, and, and that's, that's the beginning. We've only just begun. After 18 months in operation, the Mount Gilead farm is flourishing with 10 fields. Across these five acres, you'll find more than 50 trees producing fruits and nuts and more than 20 grapevines. The fertile ground is home to more than 15 types of fruits and vegetables. We grow uh, onions, string beans, cucumbers, watermelons, cantaloupes, tomatoes, squash, curly kale, uh, green peppers, uh, corn, we have lettuce, uh, spinach, and so we have a variety of, of, of sweet potatoes, so we have a variety of things that we grow. Our farmer-in-chief, known affectionately as Captain Duggar, is witnessing miracles on this anointed ground. First, the overflow of rain has led to a tremendous harvest. We went from, from a, a, a harvesting 200 pounds a week to harvesting over 1,000 pounds a week. So God has gave us that, and also he has sent us the team, the people we need to harvest with us. At least 15 volunteers came out recently to harvest onions, curly kale, and potatoes. These fields are never empty. Due to the mild winter, we grew produce all year long into the spring, and donations are pouring in, including 2,000 sweet potato plants worth more than $600. The second miracle, the speed at which our produce is growing. I have fruit trees that the vendor told me it takes two years to grow. As I can show you now that we have pears on the tree and they haven't been uh, over six months. The pears are producing on the fruit trees right now. We got grapes on the vine we just planted this spring already. So it, it's normally take a two year process, but God is doing it within six and eight months. Even I don't understand what God is doing, you know what I'm saying, but I know Every other day we have to harvest because the stuff is just coming out the field. It's just with the rain and all, it's just, it's, it's, you know, this, such fertile soil and we're getting such a great harvest. And the third miracle at our farm, new debt-free equipment, including two John Deere tractors and a mower. Captain Duggar took some time to show the volunteers the old equipment, which included one machine from the 1950s. Oh, that's old. See, it doesn't matter how old you are, but you're running. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Duggar keeps us laughing while he drives home an important revelation. You can't be a farmer without faith. And when you're faithful over a few things, God will make you ruler over many. When you fix what you got and appreciate it, come on now, come on. God can bless you with something else. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? So what he said was, I see that you're a good steward over this. You took care of the old stuff, but now I'm gonna give you some new stuff. New equipment, which helps us do more work with less manpower. For the month of June, we've harvested more than 3,300 pounds of food. It's going from the fields to the food bank. We loaded up boxes of squash, string beans, and kale for the Chesterfield Food Bank and for the food pantry at the Hope Center in Petersburg. The Hope Center's executive director came by the farm to pack up and load boxes to take back to families in need. So what's next for the Mount Gilead farm? Well, we have our first farm animal, Quaxity. She's becoming quite comfortable in her new home and already laying eggs. Captain Duggar plans to eventually create a chicken farm to raise eggs. He's also working on a greenhouse to grow our own plants and train volunteers on the process of seed time and harvest. Captain Duggar says if you're wondering how you can help with the farm, come harvest and sow your time. You got to come up in here and see what God is doing. See, and once you get up here, you hooked. 